Yeah. Uh, oh, look, I was, I was proud of the way we um, probably responded after last week. I was pretty critical of our effort last week. Um, but I thought, you know, tonight was better. We just you know, had a couple of periods there where, again, we, we just went in the game and the game got away from us in that period. But as I said, I was look, not obviously not happy with the result, but, you know, I saw some, some things that I questioned whether or not we still had as a team last week, and they were there tonight, which was good. Yeah, it was a bit frustrating to see you sort of shot yourself in the foot again with the start of that second half with the errors. Yeah, it's uh, we're you know we're so close against you know really good sides too in the competition. So, uh, but unfortunately, we're not close enough at the moment, and so that's the lesson we got to take from it. So, is that the sort of game? I guess if it happened earlier in the year, you played like that with a bit more confidence. Maybe you would have gotten away with it. Yeah. Um, well, probably you you know you find a way to win when you when you're full of confidence. And uh, given you know what's happened to us so far, that's that's been the tough part to get us out of that. You really got to fight hard. Uh, but you know it's the NRL, so it's it's a tough competition. You lost Morgay there. Do you know much about what he might have done? Uh, no, not yet. Was it an arm for bicep? I think it's bicep, yeah. What um, did that loss to Islam mean to have someone so experienced at the back for him to go off? How did that um, help you guys? He's a very good player, so what do you think? You know, like, it's pretty obvious. He's a, he's a good player, he's a key position for us. So, But in saying that, I thought, you know, the shuffles and the changes we made to, to the team, that's the guys competed despite that. So, again, that's what... You know, I was I was glad to see that because I did question that after last week. Um, are you expecting him to have to go for scans? Yeah, that's the usual process. Go to scans, work out exactly what's what's wrong, and go from there. Tomorrow, or I'd say so. Uh, JT, what was it like for you out there? Yeah, yeah. Um, he questioned a couple of things uh, after last week's uh, effort, and um, you know the boys uh, responded uh, well. But uh, we sort of shot ourselves in the foot there, period through the the first half, and then um, you know we come out after half time and, and got on the board uh, quickly, and I think we might have backed that up with two errors uh, coming out of our own end. So it's sort of been a story of our, our season, but um, it's some positive signs there from uh, compared to last week. What were your thoughts on that no try in the second half? It seemed like you could make a pretty good case for Jace just trying to offload the ball. Yeah, well, I thought he was, uh, thought it got knocked out. Um, so I suppose when, um, when you're, you're full of confidence and you're um, playing good footy, you know, sometimes those 50-50 calls go with you. and. Um, uh, that one went against us, but um, you know that <coughs> wasn't the reason why we well, we lost tonight. What do you think of Alfie's performance tonight? Has been one of your best all year, and he really stepped up tonight. Yeah, some uh, tough carries coming out of, out of yardage. Um, got himself in the game, um, so positive signs for him. Has he been watching you a bit with that pass to Javid Bowen late in the first half there? Sorry? Has he been watching you a bit at training with that pass to Javid Bowen from fullback? Uh, yeah, so I had to uh, shuffle a couple of positions there when uh, Morgo uh, went off and um, it was good vision and, and good execution um, from, from that play. Where do you go from here given that you really can't afford another loss for the rest of the season? You asking me or John? Yeah, okay. Oh, look, don't think about anything other than next week. You know, our effort there for you know, probably 80% of the game was enormous. Um, add a little bit of execution, don't drift, drift out of the game when we did. Um, you know, we'll, we'll win more games than we lose for the rest of the year if we can hang on to that sort of effort. Um, so, you know, like I said, you, just, you can't look past next week. Uh, but the bottom line is we need to be better. Um, so we need to improve. And there's some guys that are going through, you know, what it feels like in the NRL when, you know, you, you, um, you got to fight for everything. So they're feeling what that's like. So they'll be better, better for it. Um, as a group, we need to be better. Um, we're, we're nearly there, but we've been nearly there in too many games this year. 
Um, so we've got, to, we've got to take that lesson and improve. What is your plan for this week with the Origin boy? Oh, we'll take a few days off this week. We'll train early in the week and then give them a bit of a break, freshen up. Does that you think that might help a little bit? Just have oh, I think break? so. I think uh, getting away and clearing the head will be good. Um, so, you know, hopefully everyone comes back refreshed and and motivated to finish the year off well. What's uh, your plan, Jonathan? Are you, I know you mentioned at the start of the year you might go into Queensland campus in a coaching type of role. Is that happening this week? Or? My focus is here. <laughs> <laughs>